So welcome everyone to the Let's Shrink the Package Archive talk by Hideki Yamane. And here you go. Thanks. Uh, thanks for coming, everyone. Uh, this is my first talk at DevCon, so I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> thanks. So uh, this is today's agenda. The the, about the size of the repository and uh, to solve the problem to improve the size and uh, anyway the step <laughs> the many of you know the Debian have the many many so many packages and uh, support many CPU architectures and uh, some the Linux and the FreeBSD and the Herd kernel. So, uh, does anyone know about the the size of Debian whole repository? Anyone? <laughs> About six hundred and sixty-five gigabytes. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> True. Yeah, oh, it's so huge, and uh, I think how I can improve this size shrink, and uh, I think I I can we can yes we can shrink this, and uh, some ways drop the support architecture. We we'll delete the package. Yes, we can. No, no, yes. no. Yes, you say. <laughs> um, but uh, most of you know don't like the such the these solutions. Uh, don't drop the the, the, the architecture. Or don't delete my package. So uh, we should the search and found the another uh, way to improve this situation. Uh, many of you know the discussion is ongoing and the Debian development mailing list to use the exit XD uh, archive. Now we have the default compression is ggp and uh, XD can reduce the its size. Yes. The, for example, I have the Japanese font package, uh, uh, font for Ayume font, by uh, ggip and the compression maximum, the about 40 to 3 megabyte, and the use XD, it shrink the 25 gigabyte, ah, megabyte, not gigabyte. So it's effective, really. And plus, if you use the XD, the maximum, it compresses. You can see that? Yes, almost six megabytes. And uh, I already put it to the Debian repository. Yes. But there's the warning by you. The Debian development announced mailing list. Yes, please only use XD if your package really profits from its usage. It's many, uh, it may be a problem, and especially bad problem on server architectures. Yes, 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 it's a warning. Yes, slow architecture is a problem. It will eat uh, many, many CPU time. Uh, so, for example, the MIPS, if you, uh, without the thinking, uh, we will apply the XD uh, on MIPS, it uh, miserable result. But I think the SOA is bad, but the first 
architecture is good. So the powerful, the many of you are uh, uh, using the Intel or AMD architectures. So uh, I think the UX the um, Intel AMD architecture is good. The, so I try to the decompress the whole Intel and the AMD architecture and the all architecture, uh, architecture all, and the re-shrink, re-compress with the XD. The before we uh, I apply the XD, this is the size of the each archive. The architecture all is uh, uh, 57 gigabyte, and the MD64 is uh, uh, 55 gigabyte, and hard and the uh, mm, uh, um, BSD is the such size. And after apply the XD, yes, yes, we can shrink. The how much can we shrink it? Yes, about hundred gigabyte. So the numbers. The whole difference is the uh, 104 gigabyte and the, the rate, reduce rate is the 35%. And uh, I got the log file from the one of the JVM uh, mirror. I use the FTP JP Debian org. Uh, it's uh, used the kind of CDN system like a CDN Debian net, but the most of traffic goes to the one host named FTP just SEJP. And the log line is the uh, one, uh, ten, uh, <laughs> uh, many, many log. And uh, I analyzed the which architecture was downloaded. The uh, Intel and the AMD architecture and the O and the source is the most run. So total download traffic is the 83 terabyte. Yes. Um, yes. Yes. So if we'll apply the XD, we can cut 24 terabyte download traffic. It's benefit for Mira admins, if you will. So, and there is the download speed issue, I think. The, so, no, do we Uh, several countries have the slow download speed. Uh, I live in Japan, and the uh, download speed is uh, uh, one thousand and three hundred four uh, sixty four kilobyte. And uh, here, Nicaragua, yeah. 180 kilobyte. So, um, some country is good download late. If you live in Korea, yeah, so fast. <laughs> we should go to Korea, yeah. <laughs> or, uh, Eastern European countries, there. Romania, Bulgaria, 
and uh, 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 I, I cannot pronounce. <laughs> sorry, uh, Latvia and uh, Latvia and uh, they are good late, yeah. And the United States uh, almost 600, and Germany uh, as well, and Japan is a little fast. And uh, my result is almost six megabyte. Yeah. Good. And Nicaragua, it, I said, yeah, it's not so fast. Yes. And the uh, world average is uh, almost uh, 600 kilobyte. So if you uh, want to the build the huge package in Nicaragua, it's cool. Uh, you should wait a lot of time to download. So XD can cut the download time. It's benefit for Debian users. And of course, Debian developers package maintenance also. So the size is the six, almost 600 gigabyte. And uh, if we use the XD, we can shrink that. The, and uh, I think it's effective, the number says. The problem on server architectures can avoid, we will apply the, the Intel and the AMD architecture plus architecture all. S and uh, we can cut the 100 gigabyte archive and uh, we can cut the uh, 24 terabyte download traffic. It's benefit for Mira admins and uh, Debian users and the Debian developers. But uh, there's the trade off. Yeah. Uh, we should think about the decompression. Uh, the test machine is the Intel Core i5 and uh, many memories usually are used as a desktop. The, this is the test. Just uh, extract with the ta. The the one is the use the ggip, and the second is use the xd. The result is the xd is faster than ggip. So, so I try to uh, to retry the 100 times, and the result is the same. The X is faster than the ggip, but the, it's rare case, it's rare. The, and the, I try to the, the biggest package in archive, the open clip out PNG, uh, is the, was the, the biggest one. Uh, one package equal 600 megabyte. <laughs> yes, it's true. So I try to uh, simple shell script, uh, extract the data, target it, and it takes 10 minutes. And uh, if we uh, decompress with the XD, it takes, can you see? Can you see? Wow, <laughs> we should wait the one hour. <laughs> so almost seven times than the GGIP. And uh, I try to the, the compare the architecture all packages. So next I try to check the not architecture all package, the Linux image package. And uh, 
this is the result. The almost uh, two times than the GGIP. The X lead slow. And the already the Linux image package used the X lead. The and the other architecture, sorry. <laughs> I didn't check it. So uh, installing package is not not only the extract the data, so I try to really install the uh, package with the DPKG. The good case, uh, my font package again, uh, it takes the almost same time. It's good case. And the normal case, it takes the two times. But the difference is uh, I think we can ignore that. And uh, oh, come in the worst case. The open clip at PNG file, it takes uh, eight times. And uh, if you install the normal package, it takes five seconds. But uh, use XZ, it takes 40 seconds. So, uh, actually, the compression is slower than the default uh, GZIP, really faster than the GZIP, and usually takes the uh, two to uh, eight to uh, nine times than the GZIP. Uh, it depends on the its data and the other architecture data. I've not checked. And uh, from the log file, download log file, the, uh, it, uh, some package is the so many times downloaded the Linux uh, image package or open office, now it's LibreOffice. Uh, it a lot of download. Yes, and GLBC, uh, uh, Teflib, uh, Evolution, Assemble. Its total download size is so huge, and uh, some package, Kerberos, uh, uh, Caps, Mono, Bind, over here. Uh, uh, a lot of time downloaded. So in FTP, JP, Debian, org, uh, most top 50 packages aid all of the traffic. So I think the apply XD to the top 50 packages, the first step. And the next, modify the dev helper to apply the XD by the powerful architecture by default. Then maybe modify the little demo or mass rebuild or so. So, Again, the size is 600. If you use XD on the Intel and the AMD architectures, we can cut the 100 gigabyte archive, and uh, it also cut the 24 terabyte download traffic per year. So I, I, I want to apply the XD. If we if we can, yes. Uh, my presentation is end. So, anyone 
has the comment or thought or a question for that. And please speak slow and clear. I'm not good at English. <laughs> okay. Um, I've got a question. Can we, yes. um, can we have both um, compression? Can we have? Can we have both gzip and um, xc? Values? So that people yeah. can choose their preference when they download. So people who, people who care... People who care about speed <laughs> can download the uh, XE, and people who care about um, their CPU performance, like if they're repetitively building things with their bootstrap or something, they can download the um, the GZIP. <laughs> yeah. Thanks, thanks, thanks. But that just makes it worse. There's no point whatsoever doing that. If you're trying to apply XZ to make things g you know, smaller, providing it as well as GZIP is ludicrous, surely. Yeah, the mirror will be bloated, totally. You know, we already eat, as you've seen, you know, two-thirds of a terabyte of disk on, on every full mirror on the planet. We don't need to eat even more people's disk space. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh? Okay, thanks. Um, so what do you do with architecture all packages? When you compress them with GZIP, you don't get maximal advantage on fast architectures. And when you compress with XZ, you pay too much on slow architectures. Please repeat the question again. Uh, I, th I think I want to think about the question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you suggest to do with architecture all packages? Compress with GZIP or compress with Excel? Ah, ah. mm -hmm. I think the all architecture all packages, the, the most of them build on your machine. It's Intel and AMD architecture, the powerful one. So I, I suggest to apply the XD for all architecture. Yeah, but then the problem is that decompression, uh, de decompression will be slower yes. on, on slow architectures. Right? But uh, I think the big package, the architecture, uh, in architecture all, big package is the most of the fonts or uh, like the the creeper to uh, so for the desktop i think ah, okay. it's not a problem on slow architecture if you want to use the mips for the desktop it's a problem <laughs> yes um i use arm desktops is that a problem um <laughs> but more seriously as a maintainer of a slow architecture i don't actually wildly care that XZ is slower, this doesn't bug me. Mm -hmm. um, what we do need to watch out for is packages like Open Clipart. Um, I highly recommend that dpackage needs a no compress option because that package shouldn't be compressed. The PNGs in it are already compressed about as far as you can go and you could tell that mm -hmm. in your comparison between gzip and, and XZ. Mm -hmm. I'll bet you that gzip versus a raw tar is still almost the same. Mm -hmm. um, so that mm, solves a lot yes. of those problems if you can identify packages so like that and just not compress them at all. So, so the, there's a problem on some packages, I think. So if you find, we find the problem on that package, we change the compress option. So by default, we use the XD. And if we find the problem, we change the GZ. Um, <coughs> the thing you forgot to tell us was how we change the compression method. I've discovered there's a post from Raphael with the answers in, but hmm? um, that's a useful piece of information. How, how to change the compressor option? The, just the modify the Debian rules file. Yeah. It needs uh, only one line. Yes, like the... 
Ja. Ja. Yes. Oh. Forgot the bad. Ah, oh, sorry. Wait, wait, wait for a minute. There the option the G A D H <laughs> D H builder the the use the X D option and the extreme option <laughs> the, the compression level is nine the maximum. So now we should the we should the uh, li uh the the specify the X D for the Form uh, compression option, but if we change the the default to XD, uh, we don't need to the the specify the XD, and the the like the open clip out package. We uh, after the we apply the XD by default, we change the this XD to the GZIP. Not, yeah. What's the impact on the builder demon on the builder machine? How yeah. much more CPU are they likely to require? Uh, probably yes. Mm, probably yes. But the the it's a trade-off. The download time, download traffic, the archive size, and and the CPU time. I understand, but if if we apply it for every package, even for those who don't really gain from XZ, it doesn't make sense. One yeah. of the, on one of your, your slide, you said that basically by modifying uh, just a few package, you reduce fifty percent of the download mm -mm. for so your end users. Mm. In in a way, it's actually answering your question because I'm um, just thinking rather than having a no compress field, why can't the packages concerned actually use the DH compress options that are already there? Why isn't why aren't packages like these actually already using the existing support? You've got control over DH compress in your dev helper uh, parts of the rules file. You can specify which files get excluded and which ones get compressed. Why why aren't why aren't the packages using it? Isn't that already if the, if it's a process, uh, such a problem? The open clip, the open clip out one. Yes. <laughs> so at the moment, no. D D package does not have, at least to my knowledge, support for an uncompressed tarball, you know, data dot tar. So you can tweak the options to DH compress all you like, but it's not going to help. The point is, as Adam said, and you know, like just before I was going to say the same thing, if we could for just a package full of pings, uh, we really should ha have an extra option to say just have a data.tar included. Yeah, exactly. And the thing about DH compress is that it compresses the file inside the package, and you don't necessarily want to have PNGs compressed if the things that use the PNG cannot use them compressed. All right. And uh, as far as the build daemon impact thing goes, um, a lot of that is solved by not passing dash Z9. Um, <laughs> The default XC compression of six is mm -hmm. actually fairly well behaved mm -hmm. and won't cripple a build mm -hmm. D with half a gig of RAM. Uh, Z9, yes, yes. you can sit there building a deb for about six hours. It's really entertaining. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it's for the my phone package, and uh, I need uh, I have the lot of RAM and the, the memory, so uh, it's not a problem for the anyone, I think. If if you want to the rebuild 
my package on the slower one. <laughs> it's a problem, but uh, now we don't need to rebuild the 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 package I built in my machine. So it's not a problem for you. I'm just reading the package deb man page and dash set compress type accepts option none, but maybe it's the policy and the archive which doesn't accept uncompressed debs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll just play around with it locally then. Yeah, just. Um Two things very quickly. Um, just for the uncompressed tar files of things, so the tar files don't actually have a checksum as far as I know, whereas anything that's compressed with gzip or bzip2 is, is checksummed. So there was some mention of the clip art not having. No, is that not true? A deb file, a deb file is not a tar file, but for source packages, the source packages, they do have to be compressed with something with a checksum. They can't just be... No? Mm. Yeah, but the other thing is the... Um, just on the issue of whether we have both um, <laughs> compression <laughs> mechanisms, I'm, I'm not thinking about this from the point of view of the person paying for the disks or the bandwidth. I'm thinking about it from the user's point of view, giving the user the choice what they want to download. I'm, I'm not saying that we should be biased towards giving the user that choice, but um, but that's the reason I raised that. It's, it's purely looking at it from the point of view of the user. So. Uh, along, uh, well, yeah, the subject of uh, GZIP as well did come up in the conversation which may have been slightly rum-fueled uh, around the pool. And someone suggested uh, that it might be possible to provide a checksum for the GZIP that you would have com uh, created if you were creating one, such that someone could then apply some magic locally on their site to recode certain packages for their very slow machines. I've no idea if that's technically possible, but if you had a predictable way of getting gzip to run, then you could put the checksum in ready for them, and then they could do something to munge their local repository. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to do it. Yeah, Phil, that sounds utterly insane. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> um, going back to one of your end slides. Um, yeah, that, in fact, that one. Exclude priority required. Why? So hmm? the uh, uh, it, it, it <laughs> <laughs> a little bit uh, it uh, all the 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 past we should uh, exclude the priority uh, required to apply the XD. So now we can cut the <laughs> this line. Yeah, I mean, um, there's been some discussion already, as I'm sure you've seen, um, in terms of trying to fit things on CDs, mm. which is the, you know my area of Debian, mm. um, and so we've been already been talking about using yes. XZ yes. a lot more. Mm. Um, the thing that comes out of that is apparently the bootstrap. Um, mm. People don't want to make it ha have to depend on XZ support. Mm. The only argument I've seen for that is that we don't want to cut off people who were trying to run the bootstrap on a non-Debian system. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be honest, I couldn't care less. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should just say XZ by default mm -hmm. and people wanting to run the bootstrap elsewhere, well, here are some XZ programs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The last idea about that I have heard was that uh, we could patch dbootstrap to use uh, to download XZ and use that if it is not available on the native system. That would require that only XZ and the libraries it depends on are mm -hmm. compressed with gzip. Mm -hmm. 
that would be, I think, three packages. How's that work on non-Debian systems? That's the issue. We're, we'll, okay, for a random Spark binary or that kind of thing? Uh, no, okay, a random Spark Solaris binary. No, what I'm saying is you just have to say under Bootstrap, Pro Pro XZ, and if it, if it isn't fa available on the system, then error out and tell the, uh, tell the user is the only sane thing to do. <laughs> <laughs> it was just just covering the same point. That actually, if it's you can only do that if the thing you download is a, as an architecture you can execute on that end. I mean, Debootstrap is Arch all for a reason. So it's it's that bit that's, that's, that's causing the trouble, isn't it? If, it's, if you're using it on, a, on an architecture that can't run or isn't supported in Debian. Then you couldn't use that option with the debut strap. The issue with the bootstrap is we also try to encourage people running on weird and wonderful, say, Red Hat systems and whatever to run it too. And that's even more of an issue. Well, first of all, you don't compress XZ package with XZ. And second of all, why can't we provide XZ static for those who are Linux-like machines, same architecture, such that they can run and do their debootstrap? You know, we can distribute XZ, right? Because that will cut out most of the use cases for debootstrap on foreign systems. Mm -hmm. And that one guy who cannot run Linux-compiled XZ static provided by Debian, then, well, you know, what are the chances that the full the bootstrap succeeds or he can get XZ himself then, or herself? Because we already provide loads of UDEBs and Debian installer and other compiled static things, so XZ is one of those that is needed to get Debian running, and so what? But of course, the rest of the stuff is already within the Debian archive and is checksummed and signed and everything. We don't necessarily want to be providing random static binaries of XZ to people. You know, we have no idea about the systems they're going to be running on. Yeah, okay. You're suggesting that we could just provide it as a deb that is compressed with gzip and then people can grab it from wherever. The complexity involved, I think, is, is unwarranted. We just say to people, you know, you don't seem to have XZ, go install XZ and come, and come back. It's, it's prob to me, anyway, is much sane and much simpler. That's all. Uh, yeah, QMU static is a, it's way, way more complicated than we want to get into here. Okay. Um. Rick Rayo seems to be 59 package on my system. Is it worth? F uh, Rick Rayo package, it's just 59 package on my, uh, packages on my system. Is it worth preventing people? Well, of course, but they're on every single CD we ever ship, on every single DVD. Um, they're on every single installation of every Debian system ever. Um, that sounds like a reasonable set of packages that we really want to compress well. You know, it's, it's the ones that, uh, they may not be large, but I think it would be sensible to, you know, to g go for numbers. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, d I don't see any reason, to be honest, that we should be special casing them. Anyone? Anybody else? Uh, do we know how much of a saving those 59 packages actually gain from, because presumably they're, they're all the small stuff that we require. <laughs> well, it's, it's, they're, they're tiny packages, aren't they? So maybe it's not worth it compared with all the other stuff. 
maybe. We don't, I, I don't know off the top of my head. Um, anyway, what we, what we do know is, I mean, Ansgar has already been looking into using XZ for um, a smallish core of packages already, and we can save a lot of space to make CD1 work for KDE and GNOME. Um, I would love to be able to make Debian smaller so we can actually have a sensible set of CDs and DVDs. Uh, this looks like a cool way of going. Go. Um, maybe one other thing I just wanted to add is that uh, the point of us doing a dis uh, binary distribution is to spend much time on the buildities. So if our compression is expensive, we still do it once and not once per user. So we don't care. UDEPs are compressed with XZ by default now, so why not do priority required as well? It's another step towards that end of the argument. Uh, for UDEPs, we can ensure that there's always an XZ decompressor available which we cannot use, uh, we cannot guarantee for our deep bootstrap on non-Debian systems. <laughs> so, so that means... Yeah, that's fair enough. Um, <laughs> the other thing I wanted to come back to again about the, the compression and whatever, again, as another um, porter on you know, one of, the, one of our slow architectures is really if it takes longer to compress, we can find more buildies. Really, that's not going to hold us back. Any other questions? Tom? I, I think for a great discussion, we all should say to Yamane san, Arigato gozaimasu. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. So yeah, thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> so the it's a time to close the this BOF. Uh, if you have any comments or so uh post to the Debian Dev mailing list. Uh, if you have any blame to me, <laughs> <laughs> the email me privately. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thanks for coming to the this BOF. Thanks. <laughs>